Hey, this is Dr. Heimers in my office. 这是海罗博士在我办公室里。S C S Dr. Heimers in the office. Now I am going to talk to you in just in English. 现在请你用英文告诉大家一件事儿。Le hablaré solamente en inglés. But we'll be back in just a few minutes、uh, to preach the sermon, and that'll be in English and Spanish and Chinese as always. 再过一会儿呢，我们讲到的时候就是用三种语言了：中文、英文、西班牙语。Pero regresaremos en unos minutos para predicar el sermón y será en inglés, español y chino como siempre. So keep watching. Sí, sí, sí. Now, the top of your screen is an address where you can write to get these two books. We're offering these two books, one by Dr. Kagan and one by me, and two books for the price of one.、Uh, this is Dr. Kagan's book from Darwin to Design. It is a book on、uh, showing the Untenable nature, the the falseness of、uh, of the、uh, theory, Darwinian theory of evolution, and、uh, he does a fine job. Dr. Kagan has a Ph.D. in mathematics from、uh, UCLA, and he has written this wonderful book. I helped him a little bit、uh, with the English of it, and、uh, Dr. Henry M. Morris,、uh, the、uh, founder of the Institute, the Institute for Christian Research, said. It's a delight to read, and Dr. D. James Kennedy said a word of warning to those who may pick up this book by chance: you most likely will not be able to put it down. Darwin to Design shows how Dr. Kagan, a staunch atheist, gradually began realizing that the laws governing the universe are too precise to point to anything but intelligent design by God. I want you to have this book. And I want you to have this one as well. This one is my autobiography. It's called "Against All Fears." Dr. Kagan wrote on the back, "You will laugh, you will cry, it will encourage you when you're ready to give up." Dr. Paige Patterson, the president of Baptist、uh, of Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, said, "Read this book, and you will be blessed." This is my autobiography, and it's quite a book.、Uh, It's got photographs of me with everybody from Richard Nixon to、uh, Billy Graham, and I met some real,、uh, some real heavy Christians in my, in my day, as the hippies would say. And this is my life story: Moish Rosen, Jews for Jesus,、uh, Patrick Buchanan, Dr. Bob Jones Jr.,、uh, uh, Richard Nixon, uh, uh, President Reagan, with,、uh, pictures with me, and I met these great men: Dr. W. A. Criswell. Dr. Robert L. Sumner and、uh, Dr. John R. Rice, Dr. Richard Rembrandt,、uh, Dr. Bill Bright, and Dr. Jerry Falwell. These are some of the men that I've met, Billy Graham, over the years, and Francis Schaeffer. And I want you to have this book. It's my unvarnished uh, and uh, truthful autobiography. How. I came up as a as a as a boy,、uh, a virtual orphan, and how I I came into the ministry, and failed as a missionary. But now I'm pastor of the only independent fundamental Baptist church in downtown Los Angeles. You will this book will you will blow you away. It's called Against All Fears. A frightened boy overcame incredible obstacles and became an inspiration to millions. I'm going to send you both these books. I believe you need them. Uh, you will read them yourself, and if you're a pastor, you will teach these books to your young people. They're tremendous books. This one is on uh, uh, showing the fallacies, the unreliability of, of Darwinian evolution. This one is my、um, autobiography, how I became a Christian, and uh, uh, and I'm responsible for preaching these sermons all over the world. These books would sell for twenty-five dollars each if you bought them in a bookstore. We're letting you have both of them for twenty-five dollars, and that includes postage. Write to me, Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr. Dr. Heimers H. Y. M. E. R. S. at the address on the top of the screen, Post Office Box One Five Three Zero Eight, Los Angeles, California Nine Zero Zero One Five. Make a check out to、uh, the Baptist Tabernacle of Los Angeles. Or to Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr. Either way, it'll get to me, and we'll send you both these books. This is a fifty-dollar、uh, uh, uh, 
$50 offer, you'll get a, both of them for $25. That includes shipping. So please write to us. Now we're going into the service, which is now underway. And uh, uh, God bless you for watching. Amen. You may be seated. Quite a song and quite a lot of truth in that as well. Amen. If you're watching on our website or on YouTube or on our app, welcome to the Baptist Tabernacle and thank you for watching. These sermons go out all over the world in manuscript form, in 42 languages to 221 different countries. They go out in English, Spanish, and Chinese on video as well. Estos sermones van en 42 idiomas a 221 países. También van en video a tres idiomas. We get emails from all over the world. Dr. Heimer's email is on the top of the screen right now. Why don't you send an email? Recibimos uh, email de toda parte del mundo. Mándale tú también uno. La dirección está en la pantalla. We will not read your name, but do tell us what country you're writing from when you send the email. No vamos a mencionar tu nombre, pero sí menciona el país donde estás escribiendo. And get our app on your cell phone. You can have the sermons in your cell phone everywhere you go, in the country, in the desert, in the villages. Y uh, uh, consigue el app. Te va a ayudar. Puedes conseguir los sermones donde sea que vayas. The instructions are on the bottom of the screen right now. Go to www.sermonsfortheworld.com. Look for a green button. Click on the button and do what it says. And God bless you as you do it. Marca el botón para el app y el botón verde. Yo te bendecirá. Our preacher this morning is Dr. Christopher L. Kagan. El predicador esta mañana, Dr. Christopher L. Kagan. Yes, he is a highly educated man, and yes, he has been noted as being top in many fields throughout his life. And yes, he has preached all over the world. But to us here in our church, he is also the definition of being steadfast and unmovable, and we thank God for him being here to preach to us this morning. Amen. Dr. Kagan ha estudiado mucho, tiene muchos títulos y es reconocido como experto en varios campos de estudio, pero para nosotros es un gran hombre de Dios fiel. Please lean in and listen to what he has to say to you this morning. But before he comes to preach to us, Mr. Jack Nang will come to sing for us. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power, not the labors of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. Could my zeal no respite know, could my tears forever flow, all for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress. Helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly. Wash me, Savior, or I die. Amen.
Thank you. Our Chinese translator, Mr. Song, is away in New York for his mother's funeral. Nuestro traductor chino, Mr. Song, está en Nueva York para el funeral de su madre. He'll be back next Sunday. Y regresará el próximo domingo. So the video will, will be in English and Spanish, and the, Mr. Kwong Tham is translating on the headphones into Chinese. El video será en español y en inglés, y el chino está por los audífonos. Today is Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter. Hoy es el Domingo de la Palma, el domingo antes de Pascua de Resurrección. This day is called Palm Sunday because one week before the first Easter, Christ rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and the people threw palm branches onto the road for him to ride over. Este es el llamado el Domingo de la Palma por causa de con esa semana antes de Pascua de Resurrección, Jesús entró en un asno a Jerusalén, la gente tiraron a palmas ahí en la calle. And they shouted, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Gritaron, Hosanna, Hosanna del Hijo de David, bendito es ese que viene en el nombre del Señor, Hosanna de lo alto. But Christ did not set himself up as king then and there. Jesús no se puso como rey entonces ahí mismo. His mission was to die on the cross for our sin. La misión de él era morir en la cruz por nuestro pecado. But one more thing also. Una cosa más. Jesus did not take the multitude as his disciples. Jesús no tomó la multitud como sus discípulos. They shouted, Hosanna to the King of David. Gritaron, Hosanna del Rey de David. He's the Messiah. Él es el Mesías. But Jesus did not take them as his disciples. Jesús no lo tomó como discípulos. Because he knew that five days later the people would shout, crucify him, crucify him. Sabía que cinco días después iban a gritar, crucifícalo, crucifícalo. And Jesus knew it. Jesús lo sabía. He knew that their shouting was only the emotion of the moment. Sabía que lo que gritó solamente la emoción del momento. Jesus was the son of God. Jesús era el hijo de Dios. He knew what was in people's hearts. Sabía lo que estaba en el corazón de la gente. He knew what they would do. Sabía que iban a hacer. That's what I'm going to talk about this morning. De eso voy a hablar esta mañana. And that brings me to our text this morning. Me trae el texto esta mañana. Please turn to the Gospel of Mark chapter 12. Voltea de Marcos 12. The Gospel of Mark chapter 12, verses 12 to 15. Marcos 12 a 12 a 15. That's on page 1062 in the Schofield Study Bible. Página 1021 en la Biblia de Estudios Referencias de Schofield. Mark chapter 12, verses 12 to 15. Marcos 12, 12, 15. Page 1062. Página 1021. And I will read all four verses, and then again I will read our text, which is from verses 14 and 15. Leeré todos los versos, y entonces después leeré el texto de nuevo, que es verso 14 y 15. Please listen. Por favor, escucha. And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people. Pero iba a procurar emprenderle, porque entendían que, que decía. For they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. Que decía contra ellos que la parábola, pero temían la multitud. And they left him and went their way. Y dejándole se fueron. And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. Y le enviaron algunos de los fariseos de los Herodines para que le sorprendiesen en si si alguna palabra. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master, we know that thou art true and carest for no man. Viniendo a ellos, le dijeron, Maestro, sabemos de que eres hombre veraz y a que cuida de nadie. For thou regardest not the person of men, but teachest the way of God in truth. Porque no mira la apariencia de los hombres, sino que con verdad enseña el camino de Dios. And here comes the question. Ahora la pregunta. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? Es lícito dar atributo de César o no daremos o no daremos. But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Mas él aprendiendo de la hipocresía de ellos, le dijo, ¿por qué me tentas? And now, look again at verses 14 and 15 as I read our text. Mira de nuevo el texto 14 y 15. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Es legal a dar tributo de César o no? Shall we give or shall we not give? Daremos o no daremos? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Mas él percibiendo la hipocresía de ellos, le dijo, ¿Por qué me tentas? Please close your Bibles and look up. Cierre la Biblia y mira para acá. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Es adlicito de dar el tributo de César o no? Shall we give or shall we not give? Daremos o no daremos? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt ye me? 
Pero él sabiendo la hipocresía dijo, ¿por qué me tentas? A few days before Easter, some people asked Jesus a trick question. Unos días antes de la Pascua Resurrección le preguntaron una pregunta para agarrarlo. Shall we pay our taxes to Rome or not? Pagaremos los impuestos a Roma o no? If Jesus said no, they would report him to the governor. Si Jesús hubiera dicho no, lo hubieran reportado al gobernador. But Christ knew it was a trick. Jesús sabía de que era de un engaño. The Bible says that he knew their hypocrisy. Dijo, dice que sabía la hipocresía. He knew they were hypocrites. It was not an honest question. Sabía de que eran hipócritas, no pregunta honesta. Jesus told them to pay their taxes and then rebuked them for not honoring God. Y dijo que pague los impuestos, pero entonces los regañó por no dar honor a Dios. He said, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. Da de Cesar lo que es de Cesar y lo que es de Dios. They marveled at him and could not accuse him of anything. Maravillaron y no pudieron acusarlo. They couldn't trick, they couldn't trick Jesus. No pudieron engañar a Jesús. They couldn't hide their thoughts from him. They knew, he knew what they were thinking. No pudieron esconder lo que pensaban, sabía. Yes, Jesus gave a wise answer. Sí, Jesús dio respuesta sabia. And true, a smart man could have seen that it was a trick question. Un hombre de inteligente pudo haber visto de que era un engaño. But Jesus was much more than a smart man. He had supernatural knowledge. Jesús era más que un hombre inteligente. Tenía de conocimiento supernatural. The Bible says he knew what was in man, John 2.25. Él sabía lo que había en el hombre, Juan 2.25. You see, Jesus was God the Son. Jesús era Dios el Hijo. He was not an ordinary man. No un hombre ordinario. He was man. Hombre. But he was also God the Son. Pero también Dios el Hijo. Theologians call him the God Man. Los teólogos dicen Dios hombre. And because he was God the Son, Jesus knew everything. Por causa de que era Dios el Hijo, Jesús sabía todo. And theologians and scholars say he was omniscient. That's just a word for saying he knew everything. Y era omnisciente de que sabía todo. He knew what people had done before he met them. Sabía lo que la gente iban a hacer antes de conocerlos. He knew their thoughts. Sabía los pensamientos. He knew everything. Sabía todo. One day Christ met a woman. Un día Jesús conoció a una mujer. Now he had never talked to her before. Nunca le había hablado antes. He had never met her before in the flesh. Nunca la había visto en física. But he said to her, "Go, call thy husband and come hither." Dijo de ve, de llama tu marido y venga acá. The woman answered and said, "I have no husband." Respondiendo la mujer le dijo, "No tengo marido." Jesus said unto her, "Thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband." Y Jesús dijo de que has tenido ya cinco maridos y el que ahora tienes no es tu marido. Now Jesus had never seen her before. Jesús no la había visto antes. But he knew that she had had five husbands and she was living with a man who was not her husband. Y sabía de que estaba viviendo con un hombre que no era el esposo aunque había tenido cinco esposos. How did he know all of that? ¿Cómo sabía todo eso? He was the son of God. He was omniscient. He knew everything. Era el hijo de Dios. Era omnisciente. Sabía todo. So Jesus knows what people did and he knows what people will do. Sabía lo que la gente hicieron y sabía lo que la gente va a hacer. The night before Jesus was crucified, Peter said, "Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death." La noche antes de ser crucificado, dijo Pedro, "Los señores dispuestos a ir contigo de solo a la cárcel, sino también a la muerte." That's a mighty statement of mighty words. Palabras fuertes. But he didn't do it. Pero no lo hizo. And Jesus knew it. Jesús lo sabía. Jesus answered, "This night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice, three times." De cierto te digo que esta noche antes que el gallo cante me negará tres veces. That's exactly what Peter did. Eso exactamente lo que hizo Pedro. Christ was arrested that night in the Garden of Gethsemane. Cristo a Pedro de que Cristo fue arrestado esa noche. And Peter denied Jesus three times. Y a Pedro negó a Jesús tres veces. Jesus knew what Peter would do. Jesús sabía lo que iba a hacer Pedro. Jesus is the Son of God. He's omniscient. He knows everything. Jesús es el hijo de Dios. Es omnisciente. Sabe todo. He he and so does God the Father because God the Father is also God. God the Father. Dios el Padre también porque Dios el Padre es Dios. God knows what people do even if no one else knows. Dios sabe lo que la gente hace aunque nadie más sabe. He knows what you do even if no one else knows. Él sabe lo que tú haces aunque nadie más sepa. He knows what people think. He knows what you think, even what you think in secret and don't tell anyone about. Él sabe lo que tú piensas, lo que tú haces aunque nadie sepa. He knows all your thoughts. Sabe todos tus pensamientos. You think your thoughts are private. 
Tú piensas de lo que piensas es privado. There are things you don't tell anyone about, things you wouldn't want anyone to know. Hay cosas que no le dice a nadie que no le gustaría que supiera. Because, but it's what you really think. Pero lo que en verdad piensas. Sometimes you're talking to a person. A veces hablas con alguien. And, and then, you, then you walk away and you think, rah, 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 you know. Y te vas y así that, quejando. Rah, I, don't, I don't like him. I don't like what he said. No me gusta lo que dijo. You don't say it to him. No se lo dices a él. But it's what you think. Pero lo que piensas. You may not even say it with your mouth. Quizás ni aun con la boca lo dices. But it's what you think. Pero lo que piensas. Or, or you, you see, see somebody that has, has money or more than you have and you say, I want that. Why is he rich? That's what you think. O piensa porque qué tiene dinero porque es rico de quiero eso. Or you see a girl and you take a look and I won't even say what you think but you think. Y ves a una muchacha y no dice lo que piensa pero piensas. Or you're mad at somebody in your heart. Estás enojado con alguien en tu corazón. Or you, and what you think is really in your heart is your selfish interest. It means what you want for yourself. Lo que está en tu corazón es tu interés uh, personal. And you wouldn't want anyone to know all these thoughts that you, that you think privately. No quieres de que nadie supiera de que tú piensas de solo. But nothing is hidden. Pero nada escondido. All is uncovered. Todo descubierto. And this morning, I'm going to bring out three points about that. Esta mañana voy a hablar de tres puntos de eso. Because the title of this sermon is Your private thoughts are not private. Y el título es Tus pensamientos privados no son privados. You say, well, what if my private thoughts are not private? Then I've got a lot to worry about. Que si mis pensamientos no son privados, entonces tengo mucho que preocuparme. Well, you do have a lot to worry about. Sí, tienes mucho que preocuparte. Because your private thoughts are not private. Porque tu pensamiento privado no son privados. And I'll give you three points about that. Te voy a dar tres puntos. First, the private thoughts of people in ancient times were not private. Primero, el pensamiento de la gente anciana en tiempo anciano no era privado. You say, you, you're telling me Jesus is a mind reader? Dice que Jesús sabe leer mentes? Yes, Jesus is a mind reader. Sí, Jesús de leer la mente. After all, he's God the Son. Dios el Hijo. He sees everything. He knows everything. Él ve todo, sabe todo. He knows everyone's mind. Sabe la mente de todos. He can read your mind. Puede leer tu mente. He knows your heart. Sabe tu corazón. How do you know? Well, I'll tell you. Jesus healed a man. Como sabes, él sanó una persona. But certain of the scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemeth. Y algunos fariseos dijeron de que este blasfema. They didn't say it out loud. No lo dijeron en voz alta. It was all within themselves. Todo dentro de sí mismo. It certainly wasn't for public consumption. No era para que el público lo viera. But the Bible says, Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore, why? Wherefore, why? Think ye evil in your hearts. Conociendo Jesús los pensamientos de ellos, dijo, ¿Por qué piensan mal en vuestros corazones? Christ knew what they were thinking. Jesús sabía lo que estaban pensando. And again the Bible says, the scribes and Pharisees watched him whether he would heal on the Sabbath day. Los escribas y los fariseos lo, lo, lo miraban para ver si iba a sanar en el día de descanso. They kept an eye on him. Lo vigilaban. Whether he would heal on the Sabbath day that they might find an accusation against him. Para poder saco, tener acusación contra él. But he knew their thoughts. Pero él sabía lo que pensaban. Jesus knows what people are thinking. Jesús sabe lo que la gente piensa. He knows what you think. Él sabe lo que tú piensas. He knows what you feel. Él sabe lo que tú sientes. He knows what you are like in the deepest core, down in the hidden corner of your soul. Él sabe lo que como tú eres en la parte más escondida de tu alma. It's right there. Está ahí. Jesus, the Bible says, now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. Y estando Jesús en Jerusalén en la fiesta de la Pascua, muchos creyeron en su nombre viendo las señales, los milagros que hacía. They believed in him in some way. Creyeron en él. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because, pero, he, because he knew all men. Pero Jesús no se fiaba de a ellos porque conocía a todos. Why did Jesus not commit himself to them? ¿Por qué no se cometió de ellos? Because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man for he knew what was in man, John 2.25. No tenía necesidad de que nadie de diese testimonio del hombre pues sabía lo que había en el hombre. You see, many believed in Jesus, quote, quote, when, he, when they saw him do miracles. Muchos creyeron en Jesús cuando lo vieron hacer milagros. But, They didn't trust him. They weren't converted people. Pero no fueron convertidos, no le confiaron. They were just impressed by him because he did miracles. Solamente de, eran a, a movido por él por causa que hizo milagros. It was a mental belief at best. 
mentalmente solamente queriendo. And Jesus did not trust them. He did not commit himself to them under them. Jesús no confió en ellos, no se cometió de ellos. He knew that their belief was only mental based on excitement over the miracles. Sabía de que solamente querían en la cabeza por causa de que estaban alegres de por los milagros. They did not trust him and Jesus knew it. He did not trust them. No confiaba en ellos y Jesús lo sabía. The Bible says he knew what was in man. Él sabía lo que estaba en el hombre. And he knows if you will trust him. Él sabe si tú vas a confiar en él. Or if it's all a game. O si es solamente un juego. I want to trust Jesus. Yo quiero confiar en Jesús. I would like to trust Jesus. Me gustaría confiar en Jesús. But Jesus knows your heart. Jesús sabe tu corazón. He knows if you're just going on with it as words only. Sabes si está solamente como palabras solamente. Or if, it, or if it's all a game or something you're supposed to say. O si es solamente un juego, algo que está supuesto decir. But he also knows if you really want to trust him if God is if God the Holy Spirit is drawing you to him and then he will save you. Pero también sabes si es de que Dios el Espíritu Santo te está trayendo a él y te salvará. Jesus knows people's hearts. Jesús sabe el corazón de la gente. He knows your heart. Conoce tu corazón. People like to say they love God. La gente le gusta decir de que aman a Dios. That's kind of a noble thing, isn't it? Es cosa grande que decir. That's a good thing to say I love God. Noble decir de que amo a Dios. Everybody says that I love God and I love all the people. Amo a Dios, amo a toda la gente dicen. But do they? Pero lo hacen. As soon as they're done talking to the person, they, cuando, they think all kinds of things in their head. So do you. Cuando acaban de hablar con la persona dicen todos los tipos de malas cosas. If everybody loved God and loved all the people, we wouldn't the world wouldn't be in the mess that it's in, would it? Si a todos amaran a Dios y el mundo no estaría en el problema que está ahora. Jesus knows your heart. Jesús conoce tu corazón. He knows everyone's heart. Sabe el corazón de todos. And that's they said they loved God and when, when Jesus was on earth. And Jesus said, I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. Jesus knew exactly what people were like. He knew their hearts. He said, write to them, there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. Porque Jesús sabía desde el principio quién era de lo que querían y quién había de entregar. Christ knew it all ahead of time. Jesús lo sabía todo antes de tiempo. And he knew the wickedness of man. Sabía la maldad del hombre. He said to the disciples, "Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil?" Y ha dicho, "No os he escogido vosotros de los doce y uno de vosotros es diablo." Of course, he was talking about Judas who betrayed him. Estaba hablando de Judas el que lo entregó. But he said to them right there, with Judas there, one of you is a devil. Now notice something. Fíjate algo. What Christ said was the exact opposite of what people say and think in the world. Jesus did not go, go around telling people how good they were. He told people what was wrong with them. Le dijo que estaba mal con ellos. You don't see him going around saying, you know, like Robert Schuller, the, the, the false teacher who died, who died in his sin and went to hell. God loves you and so do I. No le dijo de como uh, Schuller de que era el falso profeta que le decía que Dios te ama y yo te amo. He did not, Jesus did not teach self-esteem. Jesús no de enseñaba de que te piense bien de ti mismo. What self-esteem? I'm good. I'm okay. Yo soy bueno. Yo soy, yo soy bien. I'm wonderful. Soy magnífico. That's self-esteem. Eso es uh, este, estimar propio. When they go to school, most of the people get A's now. Cuando van a la escuela, la mayoría consiguen A. Sometimes in school, all of the students get an award. A veces en la escuela todos consiguen premios. Of course, then the award doesn't mean anything if everyone gets it. El premio es nada cuando nada, todo lo consigue. Self-esteem. You're great. De que tú eres una grande piensa. They can't read and write. No pueden leer o escribir. But you are a wonderful person. Pero tú eres una persona grande. But Jesus didn't go around telling them that. Pero Jesús no les dijo eso. Because they weren't and he knew it. Porque no eran y lo sabía. And God knows you are not a wonderful person. Dios sabe de que tú no eres persona buena. I know, I know they may say it in school. They say it in the world. You are not a wonderful person. You are not a good person. Quizás lo dicen en la escuela, pero tú no eres persona buena. People like to say that they're good inside. La gente le gusta decir de que son buenos. They might, they can make mistakes. I'm not perfect, but basically we're all good. They say. 
Dicen de que podemos ser errores, de que nadie es perfecto. And that's what you hear in the schools that people are basically good. Eso lo en la escuela de que todos son buenos. But Jesus did not talk that way. Pero Jesús no habló así. He said that the heart, he knew that the heart is desperately wicked, says the Bible. Sabía de que el corazón era de perverso. He knew that there is none righteous, no, not one. Sabía de que no hay quien busque a Dios, no justo ninguno, no uno. People say, I'm looking for God, I'm walking with him. La gente dice que busco a Dios, camino con él. But he knew that there is none that seeketh after God. Pero sabía de que no hay quien busque a Dios. You, th you think and you say, basically, I'm good. Tú dices que soy bueno. But Jesus knew that there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Pero Jesús sabía de que no hay quien busque a Dios, no hay quien haga lo bueno, no uno. And you can read through the Gospels. You, he doesn't tell people, you love God, you love people, you're good, you're good. He doesn't, didn't say that. No dice de que tú eres bueno, de que tú amas Dios, de que no dice eso. Because he had to tell the truth. He knew they weren't good. He told people they were bad. Sabía de que eran malos, de, le dijo la verdad. And so are you. Y tú también. That's the truth. Esa es la verdad. So the thoughts of people in ancient times were not private. Los pensamientos de la gente en tiempo antiguo no era privado. And second, your private thoughts today are not private. Segundo, tus pensamientos de los privados hoy no son privados. You see, your heart is wide open and God knows all about it. Tu corazón está abierto, Dios sabe. Now, to you, it's the most secret place you have. Para ti es el lugar más secreto que tienes. In your heart, in your mind, in, in your center, en tu mente, en tu corazón, en tu centro, are, are things that you think for yourself that maybe you never tell anyone about. That's where your private thoughts are. Hay tanto pensamiento privados. In your heart is what you really think. En tu corazón está lo que piensas. You can put on a front. Puedes vestirte bien. You, you, can, you can talk nice. Hablar bonito. You know how to be polite. Sabe cómo ser amable. But in your heart is what you really think. Pero en tu corazón es lo que piensas. That's what's there. Ah, eso es lo que está ahí. That's, where, that's what you really like and what you really want. Eso es lo que tú quieres y lo que uh, te gusta. On the outside, you appear nice. Por afuera pareces bien. But inside are anger, lust, bitterness, greed, selfishness, and a thousand other evils. Pero por adentro de hay a lo, la lascivia, de envidia, maldia, de esencia, de soberbia, de, uh, y a todo tipo de maldad. You see, Jesus said, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. Jesús dijo, de dentro del corazón de los hombres de salen los malos pensamientos, los adulteros, las fornicaciones, homicidios, los huertos, la avericia, la maldicia, engaño, la sibia, de envidia, la maldencia, de soberbia, de la insensatez. All these evil things come from, come from within and defile the man. They contaminate you. Todas estas amargades de dentro salen y contaminan al hombre. And that is what is in your heart. Eso es lo que está en tu corazón. What's in your heart? ¿Qué está en tu corazón? Things that you... Never say to anyone else, and maybe you never will say them to anyone else. Let me ask you. Have you ever cussed someone out in your mind? Maybe you didn't say it out loud. But in your mind you thought, bah! Pero en tu mente dijiste, bah. I won't even say the word you thought, but you know what it is. How many of you young people, or when you were young, despised your parents. You were angry at your parents. You didn't like them. Now, I don't know your parents. I know they're not perfect. They're sinners just like all people are. But every young person here, your parents have been good to you. And you despise them. I don't like what he said. I don't like what she said. When I'm, when I'm old enough, I'm out of here. No me gusta lo que dicen los desprecios de cuando tenga edad voy a ir. And that is your thoughts. Eso es tu pensamiento. And you think, you know, boy, I, I, I would like to have, I would like to have this girlfriend and, and what I do, well, 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 well. Me gustaría tener esta novia. Or I'd like to have that car, I'd like to have that money. Me gustaría tener ese carro, ese dinero. Or I'd like to give this person a piece of my mind. I, I'd like to hit him in the face. I'd like to tell him what I really think of him. If, if I'd like to really blast that person. Me gustaría regañar a esa persona, decir lo que en verdad pienso de ellos. It's all in your mind. Todo está en tu mente. You have enough outward training not to say it out loud. 
Tiene suficiente de entrenamiento para no decirlo en voz alta. Or maybe you just don't want to get in trouble. O quizás no quieres estar en problemas. But there it is in your mind. Pero ahí está en tu pensamiento. There it is, over and over, a whole stew of swirling selfishness and putting other people down and wanting this and wanting that and saying no to this and no to that and we'll see about this. He talks about I've got to trust Jesus. Oh, he says that all the time. Now I'll get on to something else. Back to my video game. Dice que tengo que confiar en Jesús, está bien, pero ahora voy a regresar al juego en el teléfono. Back to my computer and my phone and my tablet. Regresando a la computadora y lo que está ahí. Hi, nice to see you. It's so good to see you. Es bueno a verte. Ah, I don't get anything out of seeing you. Ah, no me gusta verte. But I talk nice because I'm supposed to. Pero hablo bien porque estoy supuesto. In you, what's in your heart is a selfish swirl of muck and sin and evil. Lo que está en tu corazón es maldad y acochinadas. And the thoughts of your heart, all of them, are wide open before God. Los pensamientos de tu corazón están abiertos a Dios. As David said, "Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me." Como dijo David, me has buscado y me has conocido. Thou knowest my downsitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Has entendido desde lejos de mis pensamientos. The Bible says, "The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man." La Biblia dice Jehová conoce los pensamientos de los hombres. Again the Bible says he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Conoce los corazones, el secreto del corazón. God knows all the thoughts of your heart. What does he see there? Dios sabe todos los secretos de tu corazón que ve ahí. Well you know what's there, but the light of God is, God is staring at it under the bright light of truth. Dios lo ve desde ahí viendo la verdad. And the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Gañoso el corazón más que todas las cosas perverso y quién lo conocerá. Your heart is deceitful. Tu corazón es engañoso. That means tricky, dishonest. Tramposo, deshonesto. And desperately wicked. Desesperadamente malvado. There's nothing good about your heart. No hay nada bueno de tu corazón. Remember your thoughts and desires. Recuerda tu pensamiento de lo que deseas. Remember the things you've thought about. Recuerda lo que has pensado. Remember the things you want to do that you shouldn't do. Recuerda lo que has pensado que quieres hacer que no puedes hacer. Think of your anger. Piensa de lo enojo. Remember your selfishness. Piensa de lo egoísta. Think of all the other sin in your heart. Piensa todos los otros pecados en tu corazón. Would you want your mother to know? ¿Le gustaría de que tu madre supiera? No, you would not. No, no te gustaría. Would you want all your thoughts played out on a long video? ¿Te gustaría que todos los pensamientos tuvieran un video largo? No, you would not. No, no te gustaría. The things you think about. Lo que piensas. Your jealousy of, of another person. I'll, 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 I'll get ahead of him. I'll, I don't, I, he, who does he think he is? Los celos de otra persona. Dios estaría ante de él. ¿Quién piensa él que es? The things you want to do, maybe you can't do them, but you want to do and you think about in your head. Lo que quieras hacer y la piensa pero no puedes hacer. Anger. Anojo. Sexual sin. Pecado sexual. Greed. Avaricia. Selfishness. Egoísmo. So many others. Tantos otros. And none of it is hidden from God. Nada escondido de Dios. He sees it all and he knows it all. Lo ve todo, sabe todo. The Bible says neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. No hay cosa creada no, en la, que manifiesta en su presencia. But all things are naked and opened under the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Ante bien todas las cosas están desnudas, abiertas a los ojos de aquel que tenemos que dar cuenta. Hebrews 4.13 En breve de Hebreos 4.13 And I'll read a modern translation of that verse. Leeré la versión moderna. Which says this. Que dice esto. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Nada en toda la creación es oculto en la vista de Dios. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of Him, God, before the eyes of Him, to whom we must give account. Todo es descubierto, puesto de desnudo de ahí a la vista, a ese que tenemos que dar cuenta. At the last judgment, your whole life will be played like a long video. En el último juicio de la vida tuya será tocado como un video largo. Everything will be uncovered and laid bare. Todo será descubierto desnudo. You will give an account for the thoughts of your sinful heart. Vas a tener que decir lo que hizo tu corazón pecaminoso. And what will you say then? ¿Qué dirás entonces? There's nothing to say. Hay nada que decir. Year after year of sin. Año tras año de pecado. Year after year of dirt and what you really like but, but won't say. Año tras año de pecado de lo que te gustaría pero no dices. What will you say then? You can't say. You'll be judged. Que vas a decir entonces no puedes decir será juzgado. And, and rightly so. Correctamente sí. 
Third, what can you do about your thoughts? Tercero, ¿qué puedes hacer de tus pensamientos? Now, you might say, I know what, I'll change my thoughts. Dice, voy a cambiar mis pensamientos. I'll stop the bad thoughts and I'll think only good ones. Voy a parar los pensamientos malos, solamente pensaré buenos. Well, that sounds nice, but it, you can't do it, it just doesn't work. Parece bueno, pero no puede ser, no trabaja. I don't think anyone in this room has thought good thoughts for a whole day and not a bad one. No pienso de que nadie acá en este cuarto pensado bien todo el día de no haber tenido mal pensamiento. I haven't. Yo no. You can't think only good thoughts. No one ever has and no one ever will. No puede pensar solamente buenos pensamientos. Nadie lo ha hecho. Nadie jamás lo hará. Because that's the way you were born. That's the way you are. Your, your very nature is dead in sins. Así tú eres en la naturaleza muerto en pecados. Your heart and mind are enmity against God. Tu corazón y mente está enemistad contra Dios. You see, you can't make yourself good inside. No te puede ser bueno por adentro. The Old Testament says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. ¿Quién hará limpio del inmundo? No a nadie. You can't make yourself clean. No te puedes hacer limpio. And the New Testament says, your mind is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. You that are in the flesh cannot please God. You can't please God. You can't make God happy with you, and you can't make yourself good inside. Tu mente no se sujeta a la ley de Dios ni tampoco puede. Los que viven en la carne no pueden agradar a Dios. You cannot make yourself into a good person inside. No te puedes hacer buena persona por adentro. You can't change your thoughts. No puede pensar los pensamientos. Someone says, yes, I can change my thoughts. Alguien dice, sí, lo puedo cambiar. Well, try it. Bueno, trátalo. Try it. See if you can change your thoughts. Trata, mira a ver si puedes cambiar lo que piensas. See if you can make yourself into a good person inside and stay that way. Vamos a ver si te puedes ser buena persona por dentro y quedarte así. I tried it and failed. Yo traté de fallar. Have you ever tried to change yourself inside? ¿Has tratado de cambiarte de dentro? I didn't say something on the outside. I said inside. No dije por afuera, pero dije adentro. You can't keep it up for very long. You can't do it. It won't work because it isn't in you. That's not the way you are inside. No lo puedes hacer por largo tiempo. Si no eres, no está dentro de ti. So what, so what then? ¿Qué entonces? You can't change. No puedes cambiar. So instead, you must have your thoughts hidden, covered. Me tiene que tener los pensamientos de escondido, cubiertos. Your, your thoughts will still be there. Tu pensamiento todavía estarán ahí. But you need to have them hidden and covered so that you won't be judged for them. Tiene que ser cubierto, escondido para que no sea juzgado. You can't change your thoughts. No puedes cambiar los pensamientos. They're still there. Try, try as you may. Están ahí todavía. Trate aunque trates. And they will always be there. Siempre estarán ahí. So you've got to escape judgment even though your thoughts are still there. Tienes que escapar el juicio aunque tus pensamientos todavía están ahí. You must get your thoughts to be hidden. Tiene que tener que los pensamientos sean escondidos. You need your thoughts to be covered. Tiene que tener que los pensamientos sean cubiertos. David prayed, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. David dijo, de esconde de tu, tu rostro de mi pescado y borra todas mis maldades. And the apostle Paul wrote, blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Pablo dijo, bienaventurado aquellos cuyas iniquidades son perdonadas, cuyos pecados son cubiertos. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute, will not count sin. Bienaventurado el varón a quien el Señor no de inculta del pecado. Notice the Bible does not say, blessed is the man who, is, who, who has no sin, who is without sin. Fíjate que dice que no, eh, bendito al hombre que está sin pecado. Because none of you are without sin, I'm not without sin. Porque ninguno está sin pecado, yo no estoy sin pecado. Only one man there ever was who had no sin, and that was Jesus Christ. Solamente un hombre en el mundo no tuvo pecado, y ese fue Jesús. So it does not say, blessed is the man who has no sin. No dice, bienaventurado el hombre que no tiene pecado. It says, blessed are they whose iniquities, whose sins are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Dice, bienaventurado del que cuyos pecados son cubiertos. Yes, you have sin, but it can be covered. Tienes pecado, pero puede ser cubierto. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute, will not count sin. Bienaventurado el varón a quien el Señor no inculpa el pecado. Yes, you have sin inside, but it will not be counted against you. Si tienes pecado por adentro, pero no será contado contra ti. If you trust Jesus. Si es que confías en Jesús. You see, Christ died to pay for your sin. He gave his blood to cover your sin and wash it away in the sight of God. Jesús murió para pagar tu pecado para lavarlo en la vista de, de a Dios con la sangre de él. If you trust Jesus, your sin will be covered. Si confías en Jesús, tu pecado será cubierto. And you'll escape God's judgment. Escaparás el juicio de Dios. That's why the Bible says, being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. 
Por eso dice la Biblia, pues mucho más estando ya justificado en su sangre por él, seremos salvos de la ira. And the Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. La Biblia dice la sangre de Jesucristo, su hijo, nos limpia de todo pecado. Your heart is full of sin. Tu corazón está lleno de pecado. Admit it. Admítelo. All the way. Todo. Your whole life long, your heart is stained with sin because your heart is sinful inside. That's the way you are. Tu corazón entero de estar manchado con pecado porque eres pecaminoso, así eres. And you can't get out of it. No puedes escapar. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Bienaventurado aquellos cuyos iniquidades son perdonadas y cuyos pecados son cubiertos. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not count sin. Bienaventurado el varón a quien el Señor no inculpa de pecado. Trust Jesus today. Confía en Jesús hoy. His blood will cover all your sin. La sangre de él limpiará todos tus pecados. If you would like to speak with me about trusting Jesus, the others will go and have lunch in another room. You stay and sit in the first two rows and we'll talk. Si quieres hablar conmigo de cerca de confiar en Jesús, quédate en las primeras filas y al resto irá a almorzar. And if you're watching on YouTube, on the internet, or on our app, thank you for watching. Si está mirando en YouTube, en la internet o en la app, gracias por mirar. If you have a question about this sermon or anything else, Send Dr. Heimers an email. His email is on the screen right now. Si tiene preguntas de esto o de cualquier otra cosa, te mando un email, Dr. Heimers. La dirección está en la pantalla ahora. And do tell what country you're writing from. Menciona el país donde estás escribiendo. And keep watching after the end of this sermon video. Dr. Heimers will come on with a blue shirt on and he'll tell you more about trusting Jesus and having your sins covered by his blood. Sigue mirando, el Dr. Hermes vendrá y te dirá cómo confiar en Jesús y tener los pecados lavados en la sangre de Él. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Thank you for watching today's sermon. Gracias por mirar ese mundo hoy. And if you are not saved, I urge you to come to Jesus. Si no eres salvo, te animo que vengas a Jesús. When I was a young person, I went forward uh, many, many times uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. When I did get saved, it was a very simple matter. Cuando sí fui salvo fue una cosa muy simple. I simply came to Jesus and trusted him and he saved me and washed me clean with his blood. Simplemente vine a Jesús, confié en él y él me lavó con su sangre. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that uh, before that I was saved, the day I was saved. Es muy importante que sepa dónde es que está Jesús. Yo no creo que pensé de eso antes del día que fui salvo. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us. Uh, he's not on the cross still. Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús, en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you, he's not angry with you. Jesús te ama, no está enojado contigo. God the Father is angry with the wicked every day, but Jesus came into the world, the Son of God came into the world to save sinners. And he loves you. Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Even though he was angry with sin, he loved the world and sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3:16. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。
de tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo en Egipto para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? Yo soy tan que yo le digo, ¿cómo se puede llegar a Jesús? A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. 我从来没有去回答这个问题，因为圣经没有这样回答。Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus, and it will be a very simple matter. 当你厌倦了自己的罪恶的时候，当你厌倦了那种挣扎之下的时候，但是结果神就会自然而然引导你信靠基督了。Cuando estás cansado de tu pecado, de entonces a a es un negocio fácil para que Dios te traiga a Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. 不久以前，我又一次读了读 A. W. Tozer 博士他得救的见证。Recién estaba leyendo de nuevo. En la conversión al testimonio de la doctor Tozer. Doctor Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. 要叫 Tozer 博士在一个街头，在街边听到一个人宣讲福音。Doctor Tozer escuchó a alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. 这是他头一次、第一次听到福音的宣扬。Fue la primera vez de que había escuchado el evangelio. He was seventeen years old. 十七岁才，第十七岁的他。And Dr. Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. He ran home and went up into the attic of his house, of his father's house. 这个投手博士一路跑回家，路上没有跟任何人打，然后跑到家以后，去到阁楼上面，他的父亲家里的阁楼上面藏起来。Doctor Tozer、uh, no、uh, corrió de la casa después de escuchar eso. No le habló con nadie. De, se puso、uh, automáticamente、uh, enseguida a la azotea de la casa. And he got down on his knees. And came to Jesus. 结果就在阁楼上面单独一个人跪下以后，在靠信念信靠了耶稣基督。Se arrodilló y vino enseguida a Jesús. And he went on to become one of the great preachers of the 20th century. 结果继续成为一个二十世纪最知名的一个传教士之一。Fue uno de los grandes predicadores del siglo XX. Perhaps that would be a good way for you、uh, to do. If you heard this sermon and you feel that you're lost, get in a quiet place by yourself. 有可能这是可以成为你得救的方式。当你在网站上听到了我们这个宣道的时候，可以自己一个人单独一个人在单独祷告。Quizá de eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado de solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus, and His blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. 这样跪下呢，帮助你作为一些卑微一下，让这样跪下请求神的，请求耶稣基督，请求神的原谅。这样呢，原谅你过去、现在和未来全部的罪孽。In cuanto tu rodillas y a ven a Jesús, él lavará tus pecados pasado, presente, futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. 当忏悔，信靠主耶稣。Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all He requires. Him that cometh to Me, I will in no wise cast out. He said in the sixth chapter of John. 在约翰福音六章，呃，这里面讲耶稣这样到我这里来，我绝不会离弃他们。所以你要抛弃自己邪恶的生活，结果转向耶稣，靠信念的信靠他，这就是他所需要的一切了。Ese camino bien no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then if you do come to Christ, I Pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. 但是，当你得到转变之后，一定要找一个地方教会。每一次教会有活动，都去参加，没有比这更重要的了。一旦你得到转变，参加一个地方教会。No hay mejor consejo que te puedo,、uh, puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia y esté ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 若可能的话，这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 的版本，而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗。Y si es posible, asegúrate de que sea de la King James、uh, y a、uh, los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and tell the pastor that you've been saved. 而且告诉了牧师你如何得救的。Habla con el pastor, dile que fuiste salvo. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church, 
and be there every time the door is open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. 所以我给你最重要的这个建议就是进入一个地方教会，在那里面就是在恩典之下不断成长，而且拿出你的十一奉献交给了地方教会。Métete ya en una iglesia local es una de las mejores maneras de crecer en gracia y conocimiento de un diezmo ahí Dios te bendecirá. Now I would like to ask you to support this ministry and help us. 我现在希望你能够帮助我们的网站上面传道事业。Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many many languages and we're adding more languages almost every month. 要叫我们就是通过网站各种各样的十几种语言，而且我们越来越多的语言，不断的每个月都要加上去，所以这是传遍世界的一个福音。Entonces el mundo es más a través del mundo el internet de muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are, is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80 percent of those who watch these sermons, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website. Eighty percent of them are pastors. Kagan 博士，我们教会的一个统计学家，他这样估计，就是在我们网站上面读我们讲道那些朋友呢，百分之八十都是宣道士。Yeah, la doctor Kagan, que hace las estadísticas nosotros de piensa de que ochenta por ciento de la gente que ve estos videos, escucha de esa, son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as as I often do, uh, to give them a sermon idea. And uh, in the third world. Uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要叫很多的牧师，当他们自己根本就没有不知道要宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多在第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么逐字逐句，就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países tercero del mundo son la están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago. But one third of the world does not have any, not even one missionary doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world. In one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲和澳大利亚等等，那么西方世界传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de la de que hablan inglés. Jesus said, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." 耶稣这样告诫我们，要往普天下去，向万民传福音。Eso dijo de id a todo da el mundo predicar el evangelio a cada criatura. But our Western missionaries cannot get into one third of the world. That's about two and a half billion people where our missionaries cannot go. 但是我们西方这个传教士大概有三分之一的地区，大概也就是两亿五千万的人，根本就是我们啊得的啊达不到我们这些呃西方传教士那个啊他们这个声音之下。Un tercio del mundo, como un billón de gente, los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir ahí. But the native pastors are there. 但是有本地的传教士在那里。Pero los pastores nativos sí están ahí. And they are the only way, they are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. 在那些地区，就是唯一通过地方的本地传教士来把福音传出去，是唯一的方式了。Es la única manera de repartir los evangelios es a través de los nativos pastores. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said, "Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job." 第二次世界大战开始的时候，文森·丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成的。” A principio de, de la guerra de mundial, Churchill mandó una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending the printed sermons, word for word. On the internet, 
to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. 这就是我们通过这个网站所要办到的事情，把这个福音的信息逐字逐句的传到那些三分之一就是入穆斯林教国家，还有那些佛教的国家，各种各样的一个呃传教士去不到的地方，把那些这个武器交到那些传教士的手中。Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos mandando estos sermones a escrito palabra por palabra a los lugares musulmanes a a de otros del mundo que no los misioneros no pueden ir. We are giving those native pastors the tools, and they will finish the job. Of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We put these transmission tools in the hands of the native pastors. They will finish the transmission work. We are giving these tools to these pastors so that they can do the work. And we are giving those pastors, those native pastors, the tools, and they will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature. In that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go, we just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors so that they can go to that one third of the world where Add more languages and more translators. Now, I just hope you will be able to help us with more translations and translations. And I would like to ask you to help us with more translations and translations. I would like to ask you to help us with more translations and translations. I would like to ask you to help us with more translations and translations. I would like to ask you to help us with more translations and translations. I would like to ask you to help us with more translations. And so we are able to do those five languages, but all the rest of the languages we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. Yeah, 在我们本教会这些朋友们已经翻译成了中文、西班牙语，而且日文，还有一些 Tagalog， 就是西墨西哥呃那些。但是呢，其他的这语言呢，都是要有其他的，我们要啊啊给他们一些资啊资助，给他们一些报答，让他们来帮助我们做翻译。Y nosotros de, en la nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a, a japonés, en a coreano, de, en a chino a, y va pues claro en inglés. Y a, pero a, tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, we're going to need your help. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, 用很多这个资金来赞助，但是要加多更多的语言的话，我们就需要你来帮助了。Estamos usando mucho dinero acá para los idiomas que sí tenemos en el sitio internet, pero para añadir más idiomas necesitamos ayuda. Could you possibly make a monthly pledge to help us add more languages to this website? 你能不能能够保证每个月来啊提拿出一笔这个啊资金来帮助我们，帮助我们把更多的语言加在我们网站上面？ Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos a con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas. If you can do it, I'm asking you to send fifty dollars a month. If that's not possible, twenty-five dollars a month, and make a monthly pledge to this ministry to help us get these sermons out in those parts of the world where none of where none of our missionaries can go. 所以我希望你能够每个月呢，能够赞助些五十块钱。如果不可能的话，二十五块钱也可以，二十五块钱能够帮助我们把这个语言，把这各种各样的福音传到这个世界上面三分之一地区，我们这个西方传教士去不到的地方。Si no pudiera ayudar, por favor, promete para ayudar algo mensualmente para que podamos mandar esto a lugares donde los misioneros no pueden ir. Because the internet goes everywhere. 因为万维网站呢是去到是无孔不入的。La internet va a todas partes. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their、uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen. And often、uh, they circulate these sermons and、uh, pass them on to others. So would you help us with a monthly gift? 所以那些本地的牧师可以打印出来，或者把它抄下来，或者做拷贝等等，或者是流传传给另一个人。能，你能不能帮助我们做好这些工作呢 ？Frecuentemente los pastores escriben a palabra por palabra de los lo que se ve en la la computadora, pero la cosa es que por favor ayúdanos mensualmente. And if you can do that, 
uh, you could send the money with a credit card or you could send it uh, by Western Union and uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money if possible and the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. Momento de ver la dirección donde se puede enviar el dinero a través de tarjeta de crédito, de PayPal o a Western Union, uh, pero uh, ojalá mandarlo en uh, dinero, dólares, pero si no, da, uh, vienen pronto la dirección en la pantalla. So keep watching and uh, that information will come up on the screen in just a moment. So continue watching, 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 continue watching,